Long holds. Good start, Randall. Championship leader away nicely, but Nathan Hurt. Oh, he's in the air. Launched into the air off the back of Randall's car. There'll be damage to the GRM car. His day's done. It's over. Big impact. Car went skywards. Randall through turn one. Macro shuffled back. Down to third place. Joey Mawson through to second from fourth, uh, from six on the grid. Golding's lost positions as well. But Nathan Hearn's car stranded just beyond pit exit on driver's right. The run down towards turn one and we're going safety car. In the background of that, I was watching Webster on the back of Leeds at the same time. They almost made contact going down the straight. But some serious airtime for Nathan Hearn and damage down the right side of his Valvoline number 21. He was late getting out to the grid purely on the fact he just stepped out of his Trans Am a few moments ago and barely got to the first turn before our safety car comes out in the feature race of the S5000s. Really, really good launch from the white, blue and red Valvoline car. And as Thomas Randall moved across slightly, it launched him into the air. It was a really big impact. These cars naught to 100. Oh. Oh in about three and a half seconds. So at that point, well over 100 kilometers an hour, instantly waved his hand in the air, you could see. Goes hard right, Randall moves across the block and there's contact. Front wheel of Hearn's car on the left-hand side to the right rear of Randall's Castrol entry. Thanks, Matt Nolte. I'm down here with my good mate, James Moffat. Now, he's a TCR driver, but he doubles up duties this weekend. He's actually the engineer and the radio man for Nathan Hearn. Now, Moffat, there's a bit of a nasty uh, accident there. Have you had a chance to speak to Nathan? Um, actually, no, I didn't hear anything from him on the radio, which is a bit concerning, and it looks like he's gone off in, in the ambulance, but um, saw on the footage there that he was able to get out of the car under his own steam, so hopefully that's a good sign. Maybe he's just a bit ginger in a few of the undercarriage parts, which uh, nobody enjoys.